Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Today I have a side stepper card for you. And I've got to admit, I've sort of half made this one um, because I decided I didn't really like the colours very much, so I thought I'd make it again, but I'd make it on camera um, so you could see how I make it. I have made this um, card on my blog previously um, and was asked for a video tutorial but that was back in November of last year, so it's taken me a little while and I do apologise for that. This is my sidestepper card and it uses the Petal Potpourri stamp set and we're going to use this flower and this one here to get this layered look and I'm going to show you how to do that using the stamper magic. But first of all I thought I would show you how I um, put the sidestepper together. So I've got a piece of Sahara sand. This one here is in soft suede. I thought I would use Sahara sand today. And my piece of cardstock is 21 centimetres by 14.8, which is for eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. I cut a piece of A4 in half. And I'm going to use my um, stamp and trimmer. The salmon trimmer comes with two blades, a grey scoring blade, a, a pale grey scoring blade and a dark grey cutting blade and we're going to use both blades for this card. So we're going to use the scoring blade first and insert our cards up the short side of the top at two inches or five centimetres and we're going to score all the way down, only faintly don't need to be really rough with it if you're too rough with this blade I find that I actually go through the cardstock so just a gentle hand with this one I'm going to turn it this way so you've got the the kind of bigger gap between so you, your score lines at the bottom effectively and we're going to score I need the arm out actually it's been a while since I've made this card <laughs> and we're going to score at two and an eighth just how oh, I say two and an eighth just down to that that two inch score line which I haven't done there I've gone all the way down five and a quarter just down to that two inch score and you can see where that is because our little our blade has I haven't. Our blade has a little mark on it and that is where the blade is underneath. So that's two and an eighth down to that two inch score line, five and a quarter down to that two inch score line, six and a quarter again just down to that two inch score, seven and one eighth just down to that two inch score line. And then we're going to come back all the way along. We're going to score at four and an eighth all the way down because that's our halfway. If you fold your card in half along that four and an eighth score, you've got your standard card. So I'm going through those me measures in metric. You need to score on the short side at five centimetres. And then turn your card stock so that, that two inch score line is at the bottom and score down just down to that score line at five and a half, thirteen and a half, sixteen, yeah, five and a half, thirteen and a half, sixteen and eighteen, and then come back and score all the way down at ten and a half centimeters. And then we're going to put our um, card back in with the the kind of unscored section on the right. And we're going to put our scoring blade away and we're going to use our cutting blade this time. So if you can insert your card so that that score line sits in the groove of your trimmer. And take your cutting blade and we're going to start cutting at this first score line here and cut all the way down to that end score line. So, all the way there. So you end up with that. 
see that. And we'll take our, our trimmer away. And then we've got a series of mountain and valley folds to do. So I'm going to just burnish that one. This here is always a mountain fold. Our first one backward, um, our first one, which would be the back of the card, is a mountain, which means that's a valley. Next one's a mountain, next one's a valley, next one's a mountain. So you end up with that. Isn't that clever? So I'll do that again. That top, when you initially fold it, fold it in half like a card. So that this piece is your mountain fold. Open it back out again. This first score is a is a mountain. Valley, mountain, valley mountain and that gives you for some reason a wonky back but that's better there we go and then we're going to attach our flowers so I for my flowers I've got a piece of very vanilla and I've got Hello Honey, Tangela Twist and Lost Lagoon and Sahara Sand. And we're going to take the detailed flower stamp first and our Sahara Sand ink. And my top tip for this is when you've got your, your stamp, position it on your block so that one of the big petals is at the bottom because you want the stamp with that big petal on the edge of your cardstock so that oh, sorry, it will work with our flower medallion punch. So I'm going to stamp six of these. One, two. And it doesn't matter really how messy they are at this stage. And then I've got the kind of brush stroke um, flower and I'm going to do the same so I'll pop, pop it onto my block with the uh, big petal down and I'm also going to, if you look at the image, it'll be easy to see on the case actually, that you've got slightly different petals all the way around you want to stick, you want to remember that in a second. So. I'm going to take, I've got my Stampin' Majig, and I love my Stampin' Majig. It's one of the greatest tools I own. So, pop your handle down on the, on your work surface. And this is your imaging sheet. You want to bring your imaging sheet in to that corner so that it's free. You don't want to put your, your handle doesn't want to sit on it. It wants to nestle in next to it. And that means that this block will then come in and we're going to stamp onto that imaging sheet. So I'm going to take my Tangelo Twist ink and ink up my stamp and then I'm going to bring it in and stamp onto my imaging sheet. And this now acts as my guide so that I can then position this image over that that flower bring that handle back in and I can take that away and stamp and get that flower exactly where I want it I can do the same then with the next one line it up bring my handle in take that imaging sheet away Ink up my stamp, check I've got it in the right orientation, and stamp. I'm going to clean this off with my stamp and scrub that's just over here. And 
and move on to my next ink colour which is Hello Honey and I'll do this with all six flowers. So I bring my imaging sheet back in. It doesn't matter that it's um, Tangelo Twist because I'm only using it as a guide. And stamp. Line it up, put the handle in, move the imaging sheet. Clean my stamp again. And then I've just got my Lost Lagoon. I'm going to bring that imaging sheet back in and line it up. Bring my handle in. That handle needs to stay in exactly the same place. And last one. Imaging sheet, handle in, and then this will just wipe off with the baby wipe. And I've got Hello Honey on my hands. So then, come on with your flower medallion punch and punch out each one of these flowers. There is quite a big border around this um, stamp and punch combination. Usually we try and we've got a kind of better lining up, but there is quite a quite a wide wide border that you need to be aware of when you're lining up. And then while I've got my piece of lost, um, very vanilla, I've got the Simply Wonderful Celebration stamp set and I've got To A Great Friend. And I'm going to stamp this in Tangelo Twist. And I've got the decorative label punch just to punch that out. And then all we've got to do is arrange our flowers onto our um, side stepper. You need to make sure that they're all burnished through, otherwise it does tend to sort of splay. Um, but that's not too much of a problem. So I've got some dimensionals that I'm going to stick the sentiment on, to, on with. Just there. And then I'm just going to use snail to attach these flowers. You could just as easily use uh, fast fuse or glue dots or liquid glue. I just want to put a little bit of glue on the bottom and then just and this this bit is really quick. Um, like that and that is my side stepper card using petal potpourri thanks for watching bye for now